Hey pals, and welcome back to another new Disney inspired soap series. So in today's video, we are gonna kick off our Fab Five and Friends series. So for the month of November, we're gonna highlight the Fab Five, your Mickey, your Minnie, your Donald, you know, the classic characters and some of their friends. You know, maybe we'll bring in Daisy or Dopey because we're coming up on what would be the Dopey Challenge for Run Disney, those of you that are familiar with it. So I wanna kinda of get into some of those. We're gonna start with the OG himself, Mr. Mickey Mouse or Mortimer, or whatever his original name was supposed to be. Let's jump in and then we'll come back, take a look at the soap and see how we did. If we really captured Mickey's essence. Let's take a look at the soap video and I will meet you right back here on this couch with the finished soap. All right, let us jump in. And we are gonna start by adding the lye water that I made yesterday, actually. You can make your lye water in advance. No problem at all. I'm adding this to my oil mixture, which has a little bit of kaolin clay in here. I've got about two tablespoons of kaolin clay that I pre-mixed. And that kind of helps the scent absorb because it's a really nice slip in the hand. Let's blend these together. Blend a little, stir, blend a little. All right, this is looking pretty good. Almost there. All right, I think we're getting there. I'm gonna give this just a tiny bit of swirl, swirl, swirl. Yes, that is good. So I'm going to take that off. Tap this off as well. I'll grab my napkin here to place this on for a few minutes. I'll probably need that to do the bottom of my soap because we are channeling the leader of the club. You know the one for you and me, Mr. M-I-C-K-E-Y, M-O-U-S-E. Okay, that is the top. There is the swirl. So the bottom of this soap is going to be a beautiful Mickey red. And I am using Trial by Fire as my red because it is just the best red. I have pre-mixed this in a little bit of olive oil just to try and help it combine. And I am going to add my fragrance oil. This is Black Cherry Balm which I thought would be nice and appropriate for a Mickey themed soap. You know, the cherry, the red, all of that. So I really want to get this red nice and incorporated. So to start, I am going to, where do I want to put this? I'm just putting it down on the countertop. I am going to blend it up to get this red nice and incorporated. I mean, that already looks good, but I wanna thicken it up and make sure this gets really, really incorporated. So I don't forget it, I'm gonna add fragrance oil to these pieces over here. Let's see how this is thickening up. All right, this is thickening up pretty good. I am going to scrape this down and stir this with my spatula just in case I have any little bits that are, are 
not incorporated. You can see some of that on my spatula here, some of the other stuff that was, you know, pre-mixed. Um, and I want to wipe this down before I use the white. So let me, well, you know what? I think I have another nearby, which I was not prepared for, but I do have another shaft somewhere. Here it is. All right, that saves me. I've got another shaft that will be for my white. All right, we will get this really incorporated. This is looking really, really nice. Okay, let us pour this into the mold. As always, I have my Brambleberry mold here. This is a five pound mold, meaning it holds five pounds of stuff. Not that the mold itself weighs five pounds. It may weigh even more than that, I don't know. I haven't measured it. And then this gives me 16 bars total that are about a little over, well, it depends on how full I make it, but a little over four and a half ounces or so. So they're pretty good size bars. Mm, this cherry just smells so good. It has that fruity scent but it's not like just overly powering, overly empowering, I don't know. Okay, that is good. I see a little bit there, I'm gonna swirl in, that didn't get combined. Okay, I'm gonna do that, grab my paper towel, clean this up just a touch. Didn't do too bad there, okay. Slide that off to the side and I, would like to wipe down my spatula here because I'm gonna need this again for these other colors. Look at that color. Isn't that stunning? Okay. Let's let this set up nicely. The top here, I am going to do black for just your traditional Mickey black. This is activated charcoal that I've mixed again with a little bit of olive oil just to really kind of get this incorporated nicely. Try and get everything out here that I can. Come on. All right, that's pretty good. I got most of that out. This is, I think I use, and I am trying to measure a bit more so I can recreate things pretty accurately. About two grams or so, which seems like not a lot, but activated charcoal does not weigh much at all. So it should be pretty good. Yeah, look at that come together. Look at the pretty black. And this contrast is gonna be really, really nice. Mm. Smells so, so good. And then we have in the drip is going to be white and I have a little bit of titanium dioxide mixed with water because this titanium dioxide is water-based. There are some that are oil-based and some that are water-based. I use the water one, although sometimes it does give me a few glycerin rivers. Um, I just like it. That's loud. You do need to pulse the um, the titanium dioxide though, to really get the true white color out of things. And I have, I love these mini spatulas. I'll link them down below, but they're just, they're so cute. And they're great for these smaller containers and getting stuff out of the stick blender, which I like to do that when I've already taken it off the unit so that there's no issues with things, you know, accidentally turning on. All right. That is looking good. Let me stir this because we're gonna do our typical Disney inspired where we are going to do a drop swirl. This is setting up pretty good, which I like, makes me happy. Our black is staying very fluid. Again, makes me happy. Catch those drips, put that in the container. So let me do a little first pass of this black 
and I'm gonna use my spatula to break the fall. I see a little hair there. How did you get there? Okay. Whoa, too much. Oh boy. Oh man, I got messy. I haven't done that in a little while. I've been pretty good. Hey, you know what? Just grab something, clean it up with, and move on. Be a little bit of a cleanup effort tomorrow when I take us out of the mold, but whatever. What is it with uh, kids? If they're not getting messy, are they really having fun kind of thing? I say that, but I don't have kids and I don't have to clean up after them. I just get to give them back to their parents when I hang out with them. Okay. Eh, whatever. Okay. We'll wipe the counter. I always sanitize the counter before and after use. All right, this is thickening up a little bit, which is the case with titanium dioxide too. But let's do three passes here. And I'm holding the container close to the unit so that it doesn't go too far down with the um, with the color into the red, basically. And let's kind of chase that with the black. All right. Ooh, I'm excited to see how this is going to look. Go back with some white. We'll do this a little bit higher now. All right, that's looking good. And we've got enough in here that I'm gonna be able to decorate the top with, which I love doing. I love just putting the drops on top to then swirl it up. Okay. This is looking lovely. I think I'm gonna scrape out the rest of this black here so that I can then decorate the top with. I don't know if you can see out of the corner of your eye here is I have a new storage unit that I got, which I will also link below for you to check out. But I've got a lot of my supplies in there now to help make it easy. I used to have a lot on the counter, um, but it was a pain in the butt to clean up and put things away whenever I would need to use it after the fact, like use my countertop. So now that I have a lot of this stuff on the side, I can just roll this out of the way and use my countertop. Because that's one of my tricks and why I can do a lot of stuff. Yeah, work's been absolutely insane. Um, and it, you know, work's busy. That's a good thing a lot of times, especially right now to have a job and do stuff. But when I have stuff easily accessible, that allows me to create. I don't have to spend time taking things out. I don't have to spend time, you know, organizing and getting stuff together to then create. Because, you know, when everything's ready to go, it's there. That means that that's less time wasted. So if I have 15 minutes, because you guys are seeing this real time, this doesn't take me a ton of time to make this soap because I'm prepared. I have all these steps that I've taken in advance. All right, let's get a popsicle stick that I'm grabbing out of my unit. And I'm just gonna swirl this, do my typical kind of figure eight swirl. Try to decide, I'm thinking with this one, I am not going to put anything on top because this is meant to be Mickey, a little bit more masculine. Mini, I will definitely do some stuff on top but I think this is good and that's fine. So let's just sprinkle this with a little bit of rubbing alcohol here. And so hopefully prevent some soda ash, especially with this black. I may come back and do this a second time in about 20 minutes, half an hour to really try and prevent some soda ash. Um, but yeah, let's cut into this tomorrow, my time, and see what this looks like because I am excited to get into the Fab Five here. So stick around. All right, it is time to cut into our Mickey soap. 
I love how you can see a little bit of the drop swirl right there. Tells me the color should be pretty good. Um, let's see what it looks like. I think this is kind of going to remind you like a combination of old school Mickey, like really traditional, because you have some of that gray hint to it with the um, activated charcoal, but you still have some of the black and, and everything. Let's hide that first. And ugh, sometimes these are really sticky and heavy to, uh, to move. All right, let's see what Mr. Mouse himself looks like. Come on. Ooh, I like that. It's a little different. You got some chunkier drop swirls there, but I kind of like it. All right, let's keep going. Oh, yes. That is great. This red, I think the contrast between the red and the black and kind of a deep gray and the white is just fantastic. Like, it is just such a traditional feeling looking soap with um, Disney specifically, but yeah. You got the swirl on top, the swirl on the side. The cherry smell is fantastic. Like, I am really, really happy with how the smell turned out. I enjoy it a lot. All right, well, I will check in with you guys in a little while. I actually, so this is technically my second batch of this because I loved it so much. So I will check in with you shortly so you can see how both batches look. But I, I'm really happy with this. I think this is going to be a fantastic soap. So I'll check in with you guys real soon. All right, I am back. And this cherry bomb, yep, it definitely smells like fantastic cherries. It's got that fruitiness. You know, I get that cherry notes that I get from the amaretto scent, which we've done before in this one, but it's straight cherry. It's it's bold, it's strong, it, it's got that classic scent to it. Yeah, I really like this. And you can see the red, the black, the white, I think the contrast, the way that these colors work together, the nice little swirl on top. I am extremely happy with how this turned out. I wanna know, who is your favorite OG original Fab Five classic Disney character because we've got a lot of good ones coming up. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't mention Pluto in the beginning. That's one that I've got. Um, yeah, I've got some good stuff here and I would be very curious to know who your favorite original classic Disney cartoon character is. Let me know in the comments below. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell because we've got some really good stuff coming up in the month of November and then I'm kind of already plotting December. I've got an idea in mind. I'm starting to work through it and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you're going to enjoy it. Until then, let, let's, let's, uh, let's check out some Fab Five and I will see you real soon.